I think she was a feminist at heart. I think she felt that women were given a raw deal in many, many factors of life. She was very serious, um, yet very friendly, blonde with blue eyes, so like she, she felt that nobody was listening to her. I met her the first time in my printmaking class, and she was very slight and looked far younger than she really was. And uh, I just thought she was a very uh, thoughtful, a very pleasant person. She was a lovely person, just a beautiful person. I loved her very much. She was very aware, I think, of the fact that life for her was going to be short. Made the most of every moment. She was an installation artist, and her work was very strong. She wanted things to be fair for all concerned, not just for the men, but for the women as well. And she fought hard for that. She really encouraged women to, to come out and be proud of themselves and have their voices heard. And she worked really hard on that. And, and that's why the committee got together and put this uh, lecture series together. I think a lecture series probably would have been right up her alley, you know. If this was another artist, she would have been there. I would have been so supportive. The Wendy Wersch Lecture Series is an annual event dedicated to autonomy for women artists celebrating the memory of Winnipeg artist Wendy Wersch. The lectures focus on women in the arts as role models for innovative cultural investigation. The series builds awareness of feminist art criticism, activism, and practice. It's primarily for artists, but not just for artists. Uh, I think it opens up a world that most people who aren't have no idea uh, of the scope and the imagination and the thought processes that go into making art. Something had to be done to um, carry on her voice because it's like uh, uh, when you throw a rock into the lake you get the ripples. Well she started the rippling. I think if anything her, her uh, art, her installations, her life uh, have generated dialogue and that's probably what she would have wanted, whether it be through her drawings or her prints or her installations. Yeah, I think it's, it's generated thought, and uh, that's what I think is important.